and welcome back to part five of five, my party people, arithmetic reasoning practice test series. Last question. This one, if you were in my class last week, you saw this question and it might have been a little frustrating. So I'm gonna take the time to cap it off here with this one so that way you can learn how to set the problem up and understand the nuances like we've been doing all series here, understanding the nuance of converting the English into math. That's what we wanna do. So let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Here we go. Right over here, read the question. What is Beth's running speed in feet per second? Right there, nice and easy. So let's keep it easy, right? We wanna know Beth's running speed in feet per second. So I'm gonna say right over here, Beth's running speed. And since her name is Beth, I'll just go ahead and use the letter B. I'll say equals B feet per second. Okay, we'll just say again, the letter B stands for Beth's rate. Nice and easy. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the information to kind of visualize what's going on to see how we can incorporate Beth's rate into everything else that we have. Hmm, let's check it out. So what we have here is two runners, Alex and Beth, start running toward each other from opposite ends of a straight track. Okay, so let's just make sure we kind of diagram that thing. We have a track, so two ends. We have Alex and Beth. So here's Alex, here's Beth. Alex is going towards Beth, and Beth is going toward Alex. Okay, cool. Again, just visualizing, right? Just visualizing. Next thing that I see here, it says the track is 880 feet long. Okay, so let's make sure we write that total distance. So from here all the way to here is going to be 880 feet. Again, all I'm doing is writing down my information so I can make sense of this once the time comes. So next up, over here it says then, Alex runs at a constant speed that is two feet per second faster than Beth's constant speed. Hmm, that can be a little tricky to digest. So allow me to highlight that right there. I'm just gonna highlight that. We'll come back to that in a moment. And then up next, we see that it says they meet after exactly 40 seconds of running. So they run towards each other from opposite ends of the straight track. The time that they're running toward each other at is going to be exactly 40 seconds. So we can say that the time period that we're dealing with time equals 40 seconds. We also have the distance right there as 880. Now, my party people, you know that the answer we're looking for is in feet per second. So it sounds like we have everything we need to get this done, right? It sounds like we might have everything we need. However, we have to really interpret this right here in gray. Alex runs at a speed that is two feet per second faster than Beth. How do we actually write that down? Well, when you consider everything that's going on, we have a distance rate time question where we have two subjects or objects moving in opposite directions. If we're going toward each other, remember that's opposite directions. So if you've been to my classes before, if you watched a video on distance rate time with multiple rates, you know that if we're working in opposite directions, we are going to add those rates. That's how we'll be able to set up our distance equals rate times time formula. That's how we'll be able to do that. All right, my party people. Now, what is it that we can do though? Because I understand what the distance is, I know what the time is, but what do I put for the rate? We gotta add those rates. I have Beth's rate as B. What about Alex? What do we do with Alex? That's the biggest question of the day. And it comes right here. Alex runs two feet per second faster than Beth. So if I'm trying to represent Alex's speed, so I'll just go ahead and write the rate for Alex over here in red. So the rate for Alex is going to be Beth's speed plus two. This is where things are gonna get a little more algebraic. So this is where you really wanna take your time going through this part and let me know in the comments if this makes sense. So here we have Beth plus two, that's what represents Alex. And then we know that Beth's rate, so the rate for Beth is just gonna be B. Now we already said, we're gonna add these rates. Just because it's algebraic doesn't mean that this is impossible. Don't, you know, don't get that in your head. You can absolutely do this. So how are we supposed to add those rates? 
just add, you're good, you're absolutely good. I'm gonna zoom on in over here and I'm gonna say that we have our true rate is gonna be, well, Alex, which is represented as Beth plus two, plus Beth, which is just represented as B. Those two things right there is what we're gonna combine and we'll get a combined rate of B plus B, so two B plus two B per second. That right there, my big old head almost in the way, that right here is our actual rate. Now we're ready to solve. Watch this. Here we go. My distance that we said was 880 feet. The rate is this right here. We have 2B. Let me get that little dot out of the way. We have 2B plus 2 feet per second. And the time that's elapsed is going to be exactly 40 seconds. Now that we're here, we are going to solve this. First things first, well, we can choose to distribute the 40 first if we'd like to, or we can choose to divide the 40 out from both sides. We can choose either way. Most people like distributing first, even though it's the slower way in this case, eh, that's fine. But let's go ahead and distribute first. We have 40 times 2B. So that's gonna give us 80B. And then we also have the 40 multiplied by the two, which is going to be 80. So now that we're here, the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and subtract 80 from both sides. Booyah right there. Cancels out on the right side. We have 800 equals 80B. And so the last thing we need to do here is divide both sides by 80. So once we do that, my party people, divide both sides by 80 right here and there. Cancels out on the right side. We will get Beth's rate. Let's write this in green. Beth's rate is 800 divided by 80 is 10. 10 feet per second. That's exactly what we were looking for. We've got our answer. And that makes the final answer here be 10 feet per second. So my party people, as always, if you enjoyed this, go ahead, just do us a quick favor. Follow us on this channel, comment on this specific video, letting me know how far you were able to come through on your own and how much we helped you thereafter. And then as always, this is the end of our arithmetic reasoning practice test series. So we look forward to making more series just like this. It just depends on your say. Comment on this, follow us, comment on other videos and watch them all the way through. That way we can keep coming out and putting out these videos for you, my ASVAB party people. And as always, if you need a little more help than that, we have our full program that thousands of my students have used to get the scores that they've wanted. So with that said, everybody, I love y'all. My name is Coach Anderson. Thank you for joining me on all five parts here for this arithmetic reasoning practice test series. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching my ASVAB party people. But before you go, if you're here struggling to raise your score, memorizing videos on YouTube, it's not gonna do it. What you wanna do is join my full program. That way we can help you watch, practice, and master every single step of the way until you get the score you want. It's your career, take it seriously, and that's what I'm here to do. So with that said, my party people, go ahead, reach out to me. There's my phone number right there. Text me, ask me about the program, and I'll show you how to ace the ASVAB. See you soon, my party people. Let's get to it.